Oh, I just dropped the mouse. Hi, I'm Craig. You know when your pants goes up your butt and you don't want to pull it out because you're in public and you don't want to make an ass of your ass? Well, have I got advice for you. Let's cut to something else now. Here's 13. Surprising ways to pick a wedgie out of your pants butt. The side itch. This method has the advantage of subtlety. It doesn't always work, so you have to do it a lot. Just tell people you got a rash. This rash is really bad. Oh, it's inflamed. Pretend you're doing an impression of a train. So what's that method? Point to something to distract. What's, what's that thing over there that's not over here? Pro tip. Say you see another person pulling a wedgie. Oh, there's someone totally pulling a wedgie out of their butt. And if they look back, pretend you're just doing a reenactment. Like, like this. They were totally doing it like this. Yeah. Idiots. The hot dog. Dress as a hot dog. This costume is highly wedgie repellent. And even if you get a wedgie, you're already making a fool of yourself by dressing as a hot dog. So why not just dig in there? The hot dog. Dress as a hot dog. This super cool appearance will create dissociative amnesia, whereby the brain will deny ever having seen the wedgie pull because it can't reconcile something so vile with something so sexy. So sexy. The dog. Be a dog. Dogs don't wear clothes. The nude. Be nude. The twiny hiney. Tie a piece of twine around your wrist and tape it to your pants butt. Better tape it good, though. A clever lie for why you're digging oh, down there. I, I just had a colonoscopy in my doc. I think my doctor might have left some tools down there. Nope. Guess not. When sitting, just say you're trying to do Gangnam style while sitting. Or pretend you're drunk and pass oh out god. and lean sideways hard. Oh my god, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Oh. Another tip, just own it. Just put yourself out there, dude. <clears throat> Pro tip, add a boing. Boing! Comedy helps hide the truth that you're a sad, wedgie-having loser. And finally, just get comfortable with having wedgies. Think about it. What's so bad about a wedgie? Sometimes they feel good. That is all. I hope you feel like you have been informed-tained. That's two words I wedged together. That was really forced. That was a forced pun. Much like wedgies can sometimes be forced. Moral! Don't force wedgies on people. Force friendship. Yeah. Wheezy. You clicked on this video, so you feel obviously like you like to garnish... Garnish? <laughs> Since you clicked on this video, you must like to garner knowledge. Well, I'm hosting a new Crash Course series, U.S. Government and Politics. You can click down there to watch its infotainment. I should stop making that pun. Click there to the previous video, or there to the next video, which I haven't made yet, but I made a new There Is No Next Video video, if you want to click there. And I'm starting a new Wheezy mailing list. If you want to sign up, just click on the link down there, doobly-doo style. Many of you are going to think I was drunk when I made this video. I am not drunk. This is just how I am. That's even worse. Is this... is this... The end of the video? I'm afraid so.